Hi there, in this short video, I will tell you how to use rename command on Linux to rename a set of files. Rename comes in two different flavors. There's a different variant that you find on Ubuntu versus what you'll find on something like Arch Linux. So I'm going to cover both of them in this particular short video. First of all, if you want to just rename one particular file, you can use mv command. So if at all, I'm looking at say renaming one file with uh, an extension .bak. Let's say over here, all of these files I have are C programs, which are somehow renamed with .bak extension. I want to get them back with .c extension. So if you want to do that, if I want to do it for one single file, I could simply use mv. Let's take the last file in here, like zswap.c.back. I can just say mv, zswap, and I can just say .c. And I can just use, if I'm using bash or ksh or even z shell. Any of these modern shells, I suppose braces completion, you could use open curly brace, and you can say dot back to nothing. There's a quick way to do it. In fact, if you want to see how this command gets executed, you can just type echo, and you can see the command will get executed this form. Basically, you can also manually type mv, this particular file, to this particular file. But it's convenient to actually use this curly braces for moving one single file. So I'm going to run this command now with the mv command and you can just see that the file has been renamed. But if you rename all these files, one option that you have is to write a small shell script which will traverse to all the .pak files and do it. But if you know to use rename command, it can become quite simple. It's available in almost, almost all Linux distributions. Just that there are two variants. The rename command that you find on Ubuntu, this is Ubuntu distribution that I'm using right now. Just to verify, cat slash etc slash os release tells you that I'm running on Ubuntu, right? So Ubuntu 22.10. 22 and um, if I just say rename mode here, the rename command on Ubuntu is basically a Perl script. It's implemented as a Perl script, right? Well, I'll just show it to you in a while. Uh, but I also have another terminal where I've connected to an arch the Arch Linux virtual machine in which we can see that with a cat slash OS release. This is Arch Linux and uh, the rename command here has a different syntax. This is part of the GNU core in Arch Linux. But for now, I'll show you how it is done in the Ubuntu way. And Ubuntu is quite straightforward. It takes a regular expression. It's just a rename. Just pass a Perl compatible regular expression, basically a substitute. Uh, maybe you want to rename, um, you know, the ending with dot BAK. That dollar indicates ends with the last token ending with dot bak remove it so if i want to substitute something else i can give some other replacement string but because i want to just remove the dot bak at the end i'm just going to just put forward slash one more time and then say star dot bak i'm going to run this command now if sometimes you might, not, you, know, you might be wondering whether this command works correctly or not to be to, to be very sure, you can also use rename minus n. The minus n switch here will basically tell you what it will do without really changing the file name. So if you make some mistakes, you'll be able to figure out what really happened. So it shows very clearly this file will be renamed to this file. This file to this file. This looks this looks fine. This is what we wanted. I want to rename, I want to remove the dot bak extension. So I can actually run this command this time without the minus n switch. Now when I say ls. I got back the original C files. The same on Arch Linux, however, is super simplistic. It does not take regular expressions. It only understands dot extension. So you simply have to say here, rename dot C dot BAK to dot C. Just make this change and then say star dot BAK. Basically, the source destination. What do you want to change to what else? followed by the list of files and you want to apply that replacement. So when I run this command now, you can say ls and you can see that it's renamed also on Arch Linux. In Arch Linux, rename is implemented as a binary program as a part of new code utils. We can actually verify that. So which rename and if we just look up uh, file slash user bin rename, it's an ELA binary. However, if we just go and check it up on Ubuntu, but just type which rename it indeed is user bin rename but if you say file slash user bin rename it tells you it's a symbolic link to alternatives alternative rename 
If you go to look up the symbolic link, I'll just I'll try to open that file directly. It's a sim link to the Perl script. You can see it's a Perl script. This is a default install of Ubuntu, but I guess this has taken precedence over what is available from the GNU core utils. So just to know that there are two variants of it, the rename command on Ubuntu, you just use the syntax like I showed you here. Just use the Perl compatible substitution syntax like you see here. Substitute the source, right, with the regular expression format and the destination and followed by on what files you want to apply the substitution. Whereas on Arch, it is just straightforward. You just have to use rename takes three arguments. The source extension, destination extension, what extension to what extension, from and to, followed by list of files on which to operate on. You can know more obviously by using man rename in here, which tells you some detailed information about all the different switches, which you can look up. And on Ubuntu also, you could use man rename, which actually exposes this as a Perl script. You can see that user contributed Perl documentation, and it tells you what file rename command does with some examples on how to use them. Hope you found this video useful. So do do comment on your inputs, your thoughts. Thank you very much. Hope to meet you in future videos. Thank you.